Ladies and gentlemen, oh my goodness gracious, we are back. Are we back back? No. Did I have a free hour to record a tier list Tuesday? Yes. So, little special treat today. I wanted to give you guys a tier list Tuesday. I tried to keep it, uh, you know, with the realm of things that are semi-current. Uh, what if? Marvel's What If is uh, completed as of a few weeks ago. Figured it would be a nice short one that I could squeeze in in this brief moment in between lesson plans. So, I'm happy to be back for a second. I wish I could get back to things like Danganronpa or maybe even start some new series. Maybe get Andrew in for some GeoGuessr. Big sip out of the new water bottle. But, um, unfortunately, we got to uh, take what we can get. So, maybe a tier list Tuesday here and there. They're easy to record. I apologize for the absence. Student teaching has been wild. But without further ado, let's dive into Marvel's What If Tier List Tuesday. We have nine episodes to discuss. I'm just going to put them in chronological order real quick as to not confuse myself. So Captain Carter goes first, then T'Challa, then... Oh my god, all the Avengers are dead. Then Doctor Strange. This is not the right music we usually have. Hold on one moment. I am hoping that everything is fixed. Sounds like the right music. So Peggy Carter, Star-Lord T'Challa, Oops, All Avengers Are Dead, Doctor Strange, Zombies, Killmonger kills Iron Man. Spoilers. <laughs> There will be spoilers in this. Um, Party Thor, Super Ultron, Poggers. Okay, so they're in order now. So let's start with Peggy Carter. Captain Carter, rather. A fine episode, a good introduction. But as the series goes on, the episodes like a kind of just keep getting better and better. So not really trying to disrespect this episode in particular but it ends up being kind of like towards the bottom. Like we do every time we're grading these on a on a curve. So it's not like they're all just gonna be wonderful because it was a great series. We gotta have some in all the tiers. So I think Captain Carter might be a, uh, unfortunately a D tier, um, what if episode. Next up we have what if T'Challa was Star-Lord. Oh my goodness. This episode was so good. I love the concept of T'Challa traveling the galaxy with Yondu and like making Thanos a good guy and the comparison between him and Chris Pratt Star-Lord or rather Peter Quill and like when they meet that one guy is like oh do you know who I am and he's like oh my god Star-Lord it's so good um the plot's really interesting I like how when Thanos is not the bad guy that like it's possible the collector fills in that power vacuum there was some good stuff there, unlike how in Captain Carter, it was kind of just, it really just felt like, you know, Captain America, the first Avenger again, but with Peggy Carter. And when you get to the end, there's a little bit of differences. Like, oh, you got that Hydra Stomper, you got that weird interdimensional octopus, but it was a little too similar to the what if like junction, whereas a lot of the rest of these are like wild. So I think T'Challa Star-Lord I think that's a tier for sure it might even be s tier we might move it up or wonderful rather it's super good it's one of my favorites but uh a for sure minimum what if all the avengers got absolutely bodied by hank pym this episode came out of nowhere because these two were like fun you know it's like oh peggy carter's captain america oh t'challa's star lord like they set a tone and this is the big diversion from this point forward outside of one exception like the episodes aren't silly anymore they're all like serious pretty dark pretty messed up so what if all the avengers got got i like it a lot i like the little mystery of who's the one killing the avengers i like just the fact that they kill all the avengers like it's pretty wild this one's really good also you know having nick fury be the lead it's always fun when that happens i'm excited for the secret invasion show 
because of that. So I'm thinking that what if all of the Avengers got got? I'm thinking that is a. I'm thinking that's a B tier what if episode. It's really good. I like it a lot. B tier seems fine. What if Doctor Strange used the time stone to try and save his dead girlfriend and as a result went absolutely crazy with interdimensional madness and absorbed like horrible space creatures from across multiple dimensions in order to be strong enough to bring her back just to watch her die again and then get trapped in a realm of horror monsters? It's like definitely one of the best episodes of of what if so, uh, dr sorcerer Sup strange supreme he's like sort of evil but he's really just like damaged and you see that in later episodes when they get the multiversal avengers together it's super good episode it's very dark it's very like emotional it might be the best episode of what if there is obviously we're gonna be doing uh you know rearranging the orders it's gonna be a little easier to do this time there's only nine things to rank in six tiers so maximum there's probably only gonna be three tiers with two or more entries but uh yeah super good episode probably one of the best heart-wrenching very good stuff i really after watching the peggy carter episode not that it was terrible i just like thought what if was gonna be like oh what if this silly thing happened he he who who whatever and then it just slowly degrades into like this is insane like what's watu up to it's, it's it was the trip that you go along in these what if episodes is excellent i really highly recommend it if you haven't yet you know i've spoiled like four of them but honestly if you haven't seen what if you really are you're missing it get that disney plus subscription hope next up is zombies zombies was fun it was cool it wasn't necessarily amazing i think zombies is a c tier what if i know it's a lot of people's favorites because oh my god the marvel people are zombies so cool um but you know the plot was very basic it was let's survive zombies i like the team they had it was very interesting collection of people having like uh yeah you have spider-man you have uh it was i'm trying to remember have happy hogan you have like one of uh paul rudd's friends from ant-man uh, Winter Soldier. It's a good. It's a good bunch of people. It's a really random collection. I like it a lot. Um, it's not bad by any stretch, but it didn't do anything super, super duper exciting. Um, that Wanda Vision thing was a little uh, not Wanda Vision, but the thing between Wanda and Vision in this episode was pretty wild. Um, I like the way they use it in the in the finale because they used all the episodes except for that one. Everyone was like, "Where's that episode?" And then he's like, "Don't you worry." So good stuff. Not the best. Not the worst. C tier. What if Killmonger had the ultimate plan and saved Tony Stark and just like it, and, and played both sides so we always came out on top? Incredible episode. I'm thinking A tier. It's very good. Um, they do D Tony Stark gets done really dirty in every single one of these what if episodes, basically. It's got like oh, let's just run through it. Not in it. Not in it. Dies not in it dies dies <laughs> so i am mean, maybe even because they couldn't get rdj but uh tony stark has got a lot of times and this has got to be one of the best this he's he's the best villain of the um what if series by far like his plan is incredible the way he executes it and turning wakanda against the real world by staging t'challa's death with the iron man stuff it's just it was very well done towards the end like only pepper and shuri like no like and if those are the only two people you gotta deal with like you're probably winning you can become the black panther it's, it's excellent it's so good great episode party thor party thor is very silly but the only really good part of this episode is the last second when super ultron walks out so even though it's not that bad, this is our one representative of the unbearable tier. Nothing really happens outside of that last scene with Ultron. He like has a party and then has to clean it up. It's like it's like almost like an episode of a Disney show. Like, oh my god, um, the Wizards of Waverly Place's parents are going out of town, so they're gonna have a wizard party. But the dad got like sick on the way, so they turned around. Now they gotta 
use super hijinks to clean up the wizard party. It's like literally what this feels like. Very funny stuff. Loki being a frost giant is a lot of fun. There's a lot of silly things here, but um, ultimately it's, it's the boringest episode. Nothing really happens outside of a crazy party. What if Ultron kicked everyone's butt and freaking Hawkeye and Black Widow were the only two people on Earth and they had to get like the Hydra man to Hugo, whatever his name is, to be like a virus? Pretty good episode. I'm thinking that's our second B tier entry alongside what the Avengers got got. Really good. It's a great job establishing Ultron as like the main antagonist of all of What If. It's also a great first half to what ends up becoming the Guardians of the Multiverse finale. Um, without this episode, like you don't understand why he's a threat. Plus, all like the, like when he's spotting Watu like beyond the universe, really good stuff. On he eats a planet in this one, I think, or a galaxy rather. Pull it goes full Galactus. Good stuff for sure. And finally, our our, our finale, uh, the multi. What if the multiverse had its own set of guardians? This is an S tier episode of What If. It's super good. It's the, it's, it's the end game, the Infinity War of our first season of What If. It's incredible. I can't recommend it enough. It's a great cap on the end of a season. I was so sure that What If was going to be a bunch of self-contained hoo ha and never mattered about anything. And instead, they actually tell a pretty nuanced story across the nine episodes. Um, definitely check them out. Uh, the fact that they can even like establish these characters enough that you can like understand how they would work together and what common causes they would need. It's a great job. So, no need to sort down here. Party Thor is our unbearable. No need to sort here. Captain Carter is our D. No need to sort here. Zombies are our C. We gotta decide which one of these is better, but I think I'm gonna leave it as is. I think what if the Avengers got got is a little bit better than part one of our multiversal shenanigans. I think super crazy has all the infinity stones. Ultron is really scary. And I think this is a really good job building that up. And I love the stuff they do with Hawkeye and Black Widow. But I, I think the, the impact I felt first watching all the Avengers just get bodied was a little bit better. And I gotta say the same about this tier. I love this episode with all the nuanced storytelling of Killmonger um, loving anime and uh, tricking both Tony Stark and Wakanda and everyone in the world to do an amazing plan is great. But the absolute joy I felt watching T'Challa be Star-Lord, my favorite, my favorite character in the MCU is Star-Lord. And like, I genuinely might have to shift it to T'Challa Star-Lord. It doesn't make any sense because he's not really a character. But like, wow, it was so fun seeing the parallels between him and Peter Quill. The dynamic of him and all of his team is so different. I love it. So I think this is another one that I actually get to just kind of keep in the order I do it. And the wonderful tier is the only time we're going to do a little swappy swap. This Sorcerer Supreme episode is like the probably the best singular encapsulated story they tell in the entire What If series. But, I mean, you know, you're comparing Infinity War to a, a singular movie, you know? Like, the culmination of all of this work is done so perfectly, so excellently. The fact that uh, Watu mentions that, like, he knew exactly how things were going to play out, and he knew that, like, Sorcerer Supreme, Doctor Strange, was going to have to, like, take a sacrifice to compete between freaking uh, Killmonger and then the infected Ultron. It's all... It's all done so magnificently. I give it a big thumbs up. That a credit scene setting up for the next season where maybe Peggy Carter's gonna get Steve Rogers back. They don't know yet. It's all really good. What if was a big surprise for me. I was so I was happy I liked it so much. I couldn't recommend it enough. So our final order goes Party Thor, Captain Carter, Zombies, Um, Ultron, Avengers Get Bodied, Killmonger, T'Challa, Star Lord, Crazy, Stud Doctor Strange, and then the guardians of the multiverse i think that might be a pretty like i don't want to talk on the behalf of the whole world here but i think this is uh what i've been most people seem to agree with like these three being the top three and these two being the bottom two with this middle area being a little muddied some people don't like this episode some people love this episode but i think this isn't gonna shock anybody let me know what you think, though. If you've watched all of What If, leave a comment below. Let me know what your ranking would be. If you haven't watched What If, let me know if you're going to go watch it now. 
um please like comment and subscribe i appreciate everyone for not unsubs unsubscribing and leaving after a, a bit of a hiatus um i can't guarantee when we're gonna be back full time i'm gonna try and get at least maybe another tier list tuesday recorded for next tuesday um beyond that we're probably gonna be seeing another hiatus i'm about to be in between placements which there's no real break for my time but my workload is going to be a little bit less because i don't have to be making lesson plans for the new one quite yet and i made all my lesson plans for the old one so i might be able to hop on the computer for fleeting moments Maybe I'll try and get some GeoGuessr with Andrew. Maybe I'll try and play some Danganronpa. I really want to take a look at Far Cry 6. I'll see if any of that happens. I can't promise any, but the only thing I can promise is you're probably going to get one more tier list Tuesday next week for another Disney Plus show that took, uh, it was a, another nine episode Disney Plus show about a big fandom that everyone loves that took a non-canon element and shifted it. You can guess what it is good for you. If not, we'll see you next Tuesday. Peace out, everybody.